The Dodgers just won their first World Series in 32 years. For their fans, it was long overdue, but this was done during the 2020 season, the COVID-shortened 60-game season where all kinds of rules were changed. We saw the universal DH, the runner on second in extra innings, the seven-inning doubleheaders, but all that was carried over to 2021 or 2022. We also had no fans in the stadium during the regular season and most of the playoffs, and the playoffs were using a format we had never seen before. Because the season was so weird, a lot of people call this a Mickey Mouse championship. Are they just being Dodger haters, or do they have a point? This deserves a deeper look, so let's check it out. Before we start, if you can drop this video a like, I'd appreciate it. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. What do the Dodgers get criticized for year after year? Having a great regular season and choking in the playoffs. This is usually because their pitching gets burned out, and they are not half as good as they were in midseason. Dave Roberts seems like a really good players manager, but one point of major criticism is the way he handles his pitching staff. In 2017, he had way too quick of a hook with his starters, and his bullpen had nothing left by the World Series. You saw this with Brandon Morrow. By the World Series, he was serving up meatballs. Jumping ahead to 2021, by the NLCS, Walker Buehler and Max Scherzer were gassed. Julio Arias was also misused out of the bullpen in Game 2, and that's a move that really cost them the game. But what if you moved October up to June, and did the entire playoffs in the third month of the season? No more worrying about burnout. In the month of June, between 2017 and 2019, the Dodgers averaged a record 10 games over 500. The Dodgers also had the most talented roster and deepest bench in 2020. And when you have fewer opportunities for injuries to upend your team, the most talented team is going to win out. In a long 162 game season, keeping your team in a race while keeping them fresh is a big challenge. Without having to worry about burnout or injuries as much, you can say the Dodgers won a cheap title. Now, consider the new 16 team playoff format used for 2020. Eight teams per league in a March Madness style bracket. The first round was a best of three. All games played at the better team's home field. But this is something that no top seed or any other division winner had ever had to deal with before. They've always gotten at least five games. And we all know, the longer the series, the more likely it is the better team will win. Trying to win two out of three can get dicey, no matter who you're playing. The Dodgers had no problem with this. They moved on to the NLDS with this typical five game format. The twist on this in 2020 was the COVID bubble. Every series was at a predetermined location. The National League played their games in the AL Parks in Texas. The American League played their games in the NL Parks in Southern California. The Dodgers were assigned to Arlington, also the site of the NLCS and the World Series. The teams would trade off home and away as they normally would, so they had a minor advantage with the last ups, but home field advantage was completely gone. For a team that earned it like the Dodgers with a 43-17 record, that's a big loss. This was the case for the series with the Padres, but their advantage grew little by little as the playoffs went along. In the NLCS, some fans were let into the stadium. The Dodgers have a big following nationwide, and their fans travel well. In those seven games with Atlanta, they didn't have to deal with the hostile crowd. Also, the Braves played their NLDS in Houston, so they were seeing that new park in Arlington for the first time ever. This was the same story in the World Series, but even more so in the Dodgers' favor. In those six games against Tampa, there were even more Dodger fans in the stands, and at that point, they had played 10 games in that stadium. The Rays had never seen that park before the World Series, and they don't have a big fan base that could travel like the Dodgers. The Dodgers never had to face a hostile crowd at Tropicana Field. They pretty much had six home games. You can argue that 2020 was a weird season, but every team had to deal with the same challenges. They were all shooting as hard as they could for the same goal, and the last team standing was the Dodgers. I think, in the end, this is the prevailing view. At least, it's what the league wants us to think. They faced some challenges that no top seed has ever had to face before, like a three-game series and losing a true home field advantage. But the short season covered up some of the problems the Dodgers usually have in October. It allowed their talent to come through untainted, and they were able to play most of their games in front of a friendly crowd, in a stadium they were getting more and more familiar with, all while their opponents were seeing it for the first time ever. I'm not sure what to make of the 2020 season. I personally consider it legit, but I totally respect the idea that it wasn't. There are really good arguments on both sides, but I want to know what you think. Are there other aspects of that season that I didn't talk about? Anything that bolsters your argument one way or the other? What do you think about that season or the Dodgers championship? Sound off in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to drop a like and give me a sub for more content just like this. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.